What is up, my dudes? What's up, my dudes? Oh my god. We're gonna talk about everyone's favorite thing. We're gonna talk about new ramps. New ramps. Everyone loves new ramps. Let's get it. Wow. Alright, today we're gonna talk about new ramps. I know you love new ramps because you're bored at riding the boring ramps I have. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is one we're gonna do three parts. First part, I'm gonna tell you what section we're working on. Second part, I'm gonna tell you the kind of features that I'd like to add to the skate park. And then three, I'm gonna tell you how I want to try to work them into this new section. Now I want your feedback. This is big. This is why I have the podcast. I want your feedback. So what I want you to do is to tell me what you like or dislike. And hell, if you want to even make me some drawings, we we can uh, we we can look at some potential designs. I'm I'm all ears. So, part one, the section we're changing. I'm going to tell you what it is and why we're changing it. The first section we're that's just the section. The firstly, the, the section we're changing is when you first enter the park. So that would be the small area that is between the mini mini and the step up jump into the mini, the big mini, which is only three foot. It's not that big. The elevated mini, uh, the spine mini, the elevated spine mini, that step up, step up jump. It's not right. We're going to probably change that in the fall, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about that little section. Now, the reason we're changing that section is because it we don't need it, right? When we built that little mini mini section there next to the mini mini, the mini mini street next to the mini mini, the mini, there was not the section we call the Ville in the back, and there's not the front street section that we have we built uh, this past winter. We don't need three sections where the ramps are less than two feet tall. A lot of the features that are there exist otherwise. So, what's going to happen is we're going to take it out. Makes sense, right? My initial thought was uh, was that I wanted to turn the Mini Mini into like a bowl, but that's just going to be so expensive for what it is. I might still do that down the road, but we're not doing that yet. This is my vision. If, you could, if you've been to the park, you can follow me. All right. You walk through the hallway. The hu cubbies are on your left. You would enter into the park, but then there'd be a barrier in front of it, right? There'd be a walkway. So now the cubbies are here, here in the hallway. If you'd go in and left, there'd be a little stair set that would bring you up into the, mi the spine mini. It's kind of a pain to get up there. To the right would be a walkway that would lead you into the street section or into the mini mini. And directly in front of you would be the new ramps. Now, what I'm almost certain of is on the side faced, the side where the big breaking free wall is, break with the star. Right now there's a bank and a quarter. There's an eight foot quarter, eight foot bank, roughly. There would instead be like a three foot stair set. And then I'm thinking like a four foot quarter all the way across. That would go right up to where the sub is. Right now it's a three foot quarter and like a one foot sub. With like maybe like a 14 inch deck maybe. So that would be just a four foot quarter all, all the way across. Which would make it a lot easier for quarter to wall rides. Alright and then going the other way. Well this is where it gets tricky. It's a kind of a tight space. So I'm thinking I might build something quirky and tight. Which kind of defines a lot of what I built. So that means... It'll look good on paper, and then we build it, and it's going to be really weird and really tight, and, no, and half of you aren't going to like it, but <laughs> hopefully not. My thought is I want to incorporate that little pocket into the main street section. All right, follow, are you following me? I should have drawn a diagram so we can kind of show you, but my thought is, let, let's, let's digress a little bit. We'll pull back. Say you're in the main street section, right? 
you're standing on the grass euro gap facing the bowl, right? Can you picture yourself there? You're standing on the grass euro gap, windows behind you, ledges on your right, bowls in front of you. So across the park, you have a divider wall, and then you have a quarter with a bank sticking out. My thought would be to change the quarter with the bank sticking out, pull it forward a little bit, which would shorten the flat bottom, and make it some way that it would be more like kind of like a transition bank up flat for a little bit and then a trend and then like a maybe a two foot transition to the top bank on half of this this is going to be hard to follow but my thought is i want to make it so if you were from the left of the euro gap you could go across the street section and you would left hip oops sorry hit the mic you would left hip into what is that mini section now i'm thinking maybe there'd be like a small like two and a half three foot kind of like Spox, kind of spine, kind of box. And then you'd have the four-foot quarter of the wall. So the thought would be left hip, little box jump, Spox jump, four-foot quarter, hit a wall ride, hit the box the other way, and then you would hit back in the street section. So it opened this hip line. And potentially with the hip that's by the euro on the other side of the mini-mini, you could maybe do hip, hip, box, wall ride, spox, hip, something like that. I want to incorporate a little more flow into the park. I also think that uh, when you would walk in, having that little divider wall, would it's it will decrease the odds, hopefully decrease the odds of the, of the collisions that have happened between the um, step-up line to the mini and the new street section. So we're still trying to figure out exactly how to navigate that because that was kind of... Every time I build something, you realize after it's built, oh, wow, I didn't really think about that. So the problem, see, the big problem here, if, again, if you can visualize, if you're in that new section, if there were to be a small left hip in and then a Spox, it would be really tight. Like, it'd be really quick. Which is cool in one way because, and you're, you might think, it, it wouldn't be that tight. But the problem is the bridge. Remember over that section, there's that bridge for the box line. So if there was a box, it would have to be far enough underneath there that you're not going to hit your head on the bridge. So that kind of changed the situation. My thought is I'm just going to, Maybe just build the hip junction how I think it would work and build the quarter junction. And then once they're both done, look at the spacing and decide what goes in the middle. Because even if there's nothing in the middle, just having a nice hip would be cool. Like having a nice transitioned hip would be really fun. And, you know, if it sucks, it sucks. I don't know. We build stuff. Sometimes it sucks. And you go, all right, we'll build it again later at least. I think um, it would just add a bunch of flow to the park. I think a four-foot quarter to wall would be pretty fun. We don't have it. Like, well, there's a four foot quarter of the slant wall on the, after the step up, right? That might actually be less than four feet. No, the, I'm sorry. The one in the bowl, in the one in the spine mini is a four foot quarter of the slant wall. The one we are going to build will be just a four foot to wall. So it might be a nice logical step. Either the slant wall will now try the straight wall. Um, that's my idea. I'm probably going to work on some sort of drawing so I could show you guys but generally that's what I'm thinking my other thought is I'm, I'm gonna on the mini mini where there's that thing that sticks out I want to take that out and just make a ramp just smooth it out for forget that thing so this might have been hard to follow but the general gist of it is from the main section, I want there to be a left hip into what is that little section, some sort of obstacle in the middle, a quarter with a quarter to wall, and then you'd be able to right hip back into the main section. That's my thought. Let me know if you if, if you understood this at all. If you were completely lost, I'm sorry. Um, maybe I'll try to draw something and put it over the video but probably not hopefully that wasn't too confusing hopefully this gives you a little idea of what we want to do i think a hip a nice hip in the park would be fun
exactly how the hip goes. I'm thinking probably it wouldn't be a quarter. Maybe it would be wedged into a quarter. I don't know. We'd have to kind of figure out those options. That's what I'm asking you. Like, would you want like a three, three and a half foot like wedged hip? Or would you want it like three foot kind of mellow quarter to mellow quarter set up? I feel like the wedged one would be better because you can kind of bring the wedge down to a point so uh, more intermediate riders can kind of just barely get over the hip where the, it's only like a foot or two tall to where if you make it out of a quarter pipe, it's like there's no option other than fully sending it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you know of any particular hips that you like, let me know in the comments what uh, what skate park they're at so I can kind of look it up. Or if you can comment like an image or like a URL to the image of hips that you like or sections that you think are fun. Like I really want to know what you, what you, I know you guys want like a box or like a Spock. So I'm really trying to get that back in. So yeah, let me know. And I want to do my best to kind of offer that because right jumping stuff's cool. And uh, that'll do it for today. I want to do this stuff. I'm thinking maybe during the summer camp, so I have some extra time, I'll, I'll just start tearing apart that section. Maybe. I'm sure I'll do another podcast about that. I'll probably be looking for some volunteers. Uh, that's going to be a tough project just because a lot of times when you work in a larger space, you can kind of like take it apart and pile it up here, but that's going to be a tighter space, so we're going to be limited on where we can put the stuff we're tearing apart, so it could be a pain in the butt. But whatever. Again, let, I really want to know what you think. If you don't want to comment it, don't comment it. Just come in and talk to me. You know, like I said, I want, I want, it is in my best interest to give you the ramps that you guys want to ride. And, it, and it's also in your best interest to tell me the kind of ramps that you want to ride. And then everyone wins. So, thank you. Help me help you shred the gnar. All right? You know the deal. I will see you at the skate park yesterday. Thanks for listening. Tell all your friends. And yeah, you know, remember those promo coupons are out there.